put it on so tight, stretch it on so tight that it becomes painful and uncomfortable, but it does need to be firm enough that it's bordering on uncomfortable. Well, the most important thing you do is you don't run around, you don't move around too much. The sooner a compression bandage goes on to limit the, the spread of venom through the lymphatic system, the better. If you've got a mobile phone in your pocket, just sit down and call triple O. Uh, uh, if you're in a more remote location where it's going to take a while for an ambulance to get to you, call a friend. If you're in your own home and you've got a bandage available, then you can put a bandage on. But if you're moving around too much looking for that, you're probably actually going to do more harm than good. It's important to immobilise that limb. You need to go from the, from the end of the limb up towards the body and then back down again. Uh, not everybody has bandages handy, of course, but if you're going to have a first piece of first aid equipment in the home, having a, uh, a large uh, compression bandage around is a very, very handy thing to have. As with many of these uh, health issues, if you're proactive and you're prepared ahead of time, you, you're going to be better off. So if you are on an acreage, for example, if you're out of in one of the many communities out of town, think about uh, about going to the chemist and buying a bandage, having one in a home so you know where it is, so in the event there is a snake bite, either yourself or a family member uh, or, or anybody else, you're in a position to um, put that bandage on in a timely fashion.